The National Football League has settled its case with Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson following accusations of sexual misconduct by two dozen women. <laughs> So what have we learned from this Deshaun Watson madness? Rule number one, St. Kevin Samuel's point on rich men and D-I-C-K discipline should be gospel because no one would care about Deshaun if he was broke. Simple. And rule number two, the easiest way to take down a rich man is through some sort of sexual allegation. There is a dream team of lawyers and prosecutors going back to J. Edgar Hoover, down to Gloria Allred, Lisa Bloom, and recently Ariel Mitchell. And there's another young lady we're filing a lawsuit for her too in the Chris Brown situation. So there's going to be two? Two. I'm up to five um, individuals, three against Trey Songz and two against Chris Brown. Who target athletes and celebrities through frivolous lawsuits, sometimes not even expecting to go to trial, just looking for a quick blackmail settlement to keep them quiet. Whether you believe Deshaun Watson is guilty or innocent is really irrelevant for the gauge of this video. What we do know is that Deshaun was accused of sexual misconduct towards some of his hired therapists and masseuses. According to the victims, he asked them to massage them in areas that they considered inappropriate, like his inner thigh or between his glutes, that they believed he did to trigger an erection. The victims also said that he likes to use small towels so his third leg could pop out during their sessions. <laughs> she says Watson attempted to bare his naked body. He ends up exposing himself, and I hurried up and covered him with the towel, and he said, oh, you don't have to worry about the towel. And I said, yes, I do. Now let's say Deshaun is guilty of this. My question is, why not just pay for a high-level escort to do these things if that's your pleasure? You see, you don't pay high-level escorts for sex, you pay them for discretion. Why not form a harem of these escorts and have them sign a non-disclosure agreement? Maybe have a space set aside for these appointments where they must give up their phones and agree to be recorded so there's no mix-up. Now I know, this may seem extreme to some, but if you're a famous man in this society, you must move in a certain way because one bad move could destroy your career and possibly have you behind bars. Secondly, Long gone are the days of lawyers chasing ambulances to catch a case. Not when they can get a $20 million settlement from a celebrity or athlete without stepping foot inside of a courtroom. I'm pretty sure you already forgot about the allegations brought up against Chris Brown a few weeks ago. When the lawyers decided to drop the case because Chris Brown released the text messages between himself and the so-called victim. You're like reading messages and stuff and you haven't blessed me yet, so I'm guessing you don't hate me. I just want to see you again. I mean, just answer the phone and you just hung up. Like, just let me know. Like, if you want me to leave you alone, I definitely would, but I really just want to again. Or the recent accusations that Ariel Mitchell offered a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars to a woman if she lied and said that Trey Songs assaulted her. Mitchell explained that she was trying to pay Trey Songs as quote-unquote the next R. Kelly. We all know this secret alliance of lawyers and prosecutors exists, yet these famous men act as though they can live their lives like normal people. Normal people. Normal people. One final point for you to think about. We as men must scrutinize any sexual misconduct allegation initially nowadays because we understand that there is a dark market for profit at play. Multiple allegations doesn't mean that the accused is guilty. The sexual misconduct by two dozen women. I'm up to five um, individuals, three against Trey Songz and two against Chris Brown. We must understand that there are teams of lawyers and investigators that are working to put together cases against men of fame and wealth. They are willing to pay large amounts to women to lie or make up false allegations to secure the bag from these athletes and celebrities. Like Kevin Samuels and now Andrew Tate, you will hear accusations like these men are quote-unquote promoting violence against women used as a weapon to silence men that stare average men against herd or sheep mentality. But obviously, that topic will be further discussed in upcoming videos. But wait a minute. You didn't smash the bell and press the like button. Blast, 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 blast. And although you will never be worthy of a monarch such as myself, 
The Lord Destro would suggest that you poor fools at least give Odegaki a try. So we, 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 Destro 